potentially the youngest ever men's U.S. track and field Olympic athlete from Bullet School in Potomac, Maryland. This is Quincy Wilson. I had the pleasure of interviewing him at the New Balance National Outdoors where he won the championship boys 400. And I said, is there a chance we're going to see a sophomore on the start line in Paris? I said, oh, of course there is. And he's made that absolutely come Bryce true. Bryce Dedman will also be in that U.S. 4x400 meter relay pool, a 27-year-old who got gold with the U.S. in Tokyo, the Georgia Bulldog Texas-born sprinter who was a two-time NCAA champion picking up gold medals with the U.S. relay squads in Budapest. We're ready to go. The advantage he has, fourth fastest time in the country this year, and this is exactly why, but never count out the youngster on his inside, because here comes Wilson bowling, making a move as well. Quincy Wilson rewrites record books wherever he goes. The battle on, I mean, you see the difference in size. You think it's just not possible, and yet the speed endurance of this youngster, it's not just his ability, it's his ability to time it exactly right. He is patient, he is strong, and he never says die across that line. These are the tools that are going to continue building for him as he gets more mature and as he grows. But my goodness, what a race. What gets me most excited about this athlete is that he is complete professional while he's on the track. Look at the focus, look at the drive. He is striving, there's still a fire under him. And yet he crosses that line. Career best in a new world, U18 best. For the man from Bullet School in Maryland. The building block going forward, like how do you how do you train? How do you go back to it? Obviously, I know you got a, a nice a nice circle around you. So just take us through what you're gonna do the next steps. Um, honestly, I'm gonna go home, chill, get ready, cause we leaving on Tuesday to go to the Paris. Congratulations on today's win. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What an incredible performance. Thank you. you just keep breaking and breaking. Tell us what was your goal for today's meet. Um, so a couple weeks ago at the trials. While we in the finals, I knew that I left some out. I knew I left some left, and I told my coach, I didn't want to feel that feeling again. I told him, we were thinking about not running the meet. I told him, coach, I want to go try again. He told me, okay, if you're going to work, we put on work for two weeks. Came out here, executed the practice. I came out here, executed my race, and showing what I can do. And then what I left out at the trials, is still left, and I had a lot left. Feel that you still have a lot left going into the office? Um, yes, ma'am. I feel like I, if I keep training, my coach pushing me to those limits, I think that the sky is the limit. What do you think was the, what, what do you think was the problem when at the Olympic trials that, that kept you from running your best? Um, I don't think it was any problem. I think it was all lessons, different lessons, different lanes. It wasn't really any problems left. I honestly just learned a lot from it. And that's why I'm able to run today. Go without those lessons, I wouldn't have been able to go on what I did today. You talked about how you knew you had more left than you after the trials. Did you know you had another almost four full tenths left in you, or was a time this fast still a little bit of a surprise to you? Um, well, like I said, I had two weeks in between. My coach, he said he, he up increases his game. I increased my game. We put it together, and the time came for itself. I didn't expect 44-2 today. He didn't expect it either. But we've been fighting that practice, so I think that's why it came out to be such a great race. On an effort of 1 to 10, where, where would you rate this? Um, I'll say I gave it everything, so I'll give it a 10. What are you most looking forward to in Paris? Um, I can't wait to, I hope I'm able to run. That's the goal, so if I can run, I'm going to give it my all. Well, you're certainly building a great case for being yes, in sir. that pool. Thank you. Thank when you. when you first got that call that you made the relay pool, did you hear it from USATF or did you hear it from this guy? I heard it from my coach. You know, <laughs> he got on the phone, he screamed it out. We going to, he said, "We got bad news. Did they let you into Paris?" So <laughs> now that they let me in, the sky's the limit for Team USA, and I can't wait to run with the guys, my brothers, and show them what I'm capable to do, and see what they're able to do as well. Fantastic! Congratulations! Thank you. I wish you all Thank the you. Best.